Hey folks, this is Saurav here from TechYard and welcome to our channel. A few days ago, I posted a video regarding how to get maximum battery backup out of your device. And in that video, there were a few clause. And the first one is that you need to have uh, rooted, you need to be rooted and your device should have the exposed installer uh, installed. So uh, in that video, one, one guy told me that uh, I have to do a video regarding how to get maximum battery backup. Uh, without even having root and that will be a pretty good thing for him so, so guys do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started so guys uh, the first thing is that the automatic brightness mode well nowadays a lot of people are you know you know they are very much accustomed to using the automatic brightness mode but the automatic brightness mode is actually the very big reason why our battery drains so fast than it should be and uh, in case of the automatic brightness mode there is a sensor automatic brightness sensor is working inside the device and it's working 24 7 if you are if you are just enabling it for 24 7 so the sensor is working 24 7 and it does it uses a lot of battery backup and and whenever you are you know switching on your device or you know unlocking your phone it tries to uh, accust get accustomed to the environment the brightness of the environment and it really uh, it takes up a lot of huge battery juice and one more thing guys uh, if you want a better battery backup do go for super amulet or amulet devices uh, because uh, lcd and tft displays does have a tendency of using more battery juice than the amulet ones amulet ones are the best for uh, having more battery backup so now coming to my next point guys and which is the network connectivity most of the cases uh, like uh, i have seen in my phones and other devices as well they always uh, keep on the automatic uh, selection mode uh, whenever they, uh, the phone gets the 4G network they switch to 4G whenever they get the 3G network they switch to 3G and whenever they get the 2G network they are on the 2G this entire thing uses a lot of your battery and actually because the phone always you know in a search of the better network so if you are happy with your 2G or if you are happy with your 3G or if you are somewhere where 4G network is available everywhere stuck on 4g don't use the automatic selection mode just stay on the network that you want to be so now coming to my third point guys which is about the gps and a lot of people always keep their gps tracker on on their device uh, my uh, advice will be if you don't need the gps uh, just switch it off the gps uses a huge amount of battery you can't even imagine how huge the amount is and often tends the phone to overheat uh, at times so Overheating is a very big enemy of your battery's health and battery backup. So if possible, keep the GPS uh, off or if you just can't do that, if you are uh, if you are in a very big need of the GPS, have it on the device only mode or a power saving mode. If, now guys, coming to my fourth uh, point, which is the Wi-Fi connection. We always keep the, most of the time, we always keep the Wi-Fi open, uh, Wi-Fi searching mode on uh, so that you get a nearby free Wi-Fi hotspot and you get connected to it and then start surfing. So if you are using a mobile data, just keep that option off. The more you keep the options of your phones, features of your phones off, you, the more you get the battery backup. And most of the time when the companies you know, market their battery backup, they always give us the clause that they haven't used these features switched on while, while they were checking the battery backup. So now coming to the next point guys, it is because it is something related to gesture control. Well, nowadays a lot of phones are coming with gesture controls even if they are not coming with that they're coming with the tap to lock uh, sorry uh, double tap to wake double tap to switch and uh, phone the lock the phone and sometimes they're also coming with hall sensor effects like we get in the asus phones we you we, we use different kind of flip covers and they you know switch their display in that way so this kind of uh i have personally faced this with asus zenfone max uh, with with my one of my friends device was uh, you know the battery was draining so fast after enabling the hall effect mode and it really you know was you know painful for at times and when I switched that off switched that feature off the battery backup was pretty pretty remarkable regarding the uh, previous one so well now guys come to my next point which is the system app disabling well uh, whenever you buy an android phone we get a lot of android uh, you know google stuff that we don't use most of the time uh, like uh, Google Hangout uh, for an example or there are many Google apps that you don't need or there are few apps that are pre-installed and that you don't need for yourself so most of the time you can't uninstall them so there is an option go to your app manager I mean go to your uh, settings then go to your applications go to all applications and disable those apps 
uh, they will be con permanently hibernated and you won't face uh, you won't be bothered by their hibernation but you will definitely get a better battery backup and obviously will get a better amount of ram guys uh, coming to my next point guys which is the uh, using the your own android os we always use battery enhancer apps battery saver apps or bat you know ram cleaning apps most of the time so i don't recommend you all of them i just don't use them for myself as well uh, if you want to you know have more free ram available go to your developer options and then you will see an option called uh, limit system background system app limit so there is a background app limit set it to the set it as per your requirements and then you will get one or two or even three or even six or five anything you want apps running on your background and the more you choose the the, the lower the amount of apps running on the background the free ram you get and also the better battery backup you get out of your phone so guys uh now the last point is a very you know very tricky or very i have said about this in a previous video the link will be the cards don't expose your phone's battery to heat the heat heating in our device is the biggest enemy of your phone's battery backup as well as its health and do charge your phone in a recommended way like i said in this video make sure you check that and the the more heat your phones receives from the environment or even from your device itself the faster the battery drains out so in case i have seen while gaming the battery drains fast because not only for because of the game because of the heating as well so this is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video well i didn't show you any apps i didn't recommend you any apps i don't recommend you any battery saving apps as well i just don't use them because they are not uh, i don't feel that they are very safe to use i hope you enjoyed this video do give us a like if you enjoyed it give us a dislike if you don't enjoy it do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and i will be coming with more videos regarding other devices as well so stay, stay subscribed and till then bye people have a great day hope to see you in my next video bye bye now